So comparing and ordering real numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare some numbers. So we're going to do this. Write this down, please. Compare. Using. We're going to use either the less than sign, greater than sign, or equal. One of those. So less than, greater than, or equal. Okay. So here's an example. There's two methods, but one is better than the other. So you probably learned this. Say we have two thirds. And we want to compare it to five eighths. And we want to see which one is bigger, two thirds or five eighths. So there's two methods. You probably learned where you, since they're both just fractions, to cross multiply, right? Remember you multiply three with five, get an answer. Well, let's just write the answer because we know it. The answer is three times five is 15. Um, then you would multiply eight times two, 16. So now you're not comparing two thirds to five eighths, you're comparing 16 to 15. And obviously 16 is greater, so two thirds is greater than five eighths. That works great in this situation. Um, the other method that we're gonna start using today, have you ever converted the numbers to decimal? Let's do that. Some of you are shaking your heads, yes, great. And remember, you're going to have you're going to have a calculator available. It's going to have all the basic functions: add, subtract, multiply, divide. So let's do the same numbers, but this time we're going to compare them by changing them to decimal. So we've got two thirds, five eighths. Okay. All right, Yadira, make sure you're closing your Chromebook right now, and Let's convert to decimal. Everyone take out your calculators. Does anyone recall how we changed two thirds to its decimal form? Divide. Some people are saying to divide. Yes, it's two divided by three. And that's a repeater, isn't it? So I'm gonna write it as 0 0.6 repeat. Now let's convert 5 8. So this time we're going to everyone try it. 5 divide 8. And that's 0 0.625. So they're very close. But we can tell that this is repeating so it's it's 0 0.667. Uh, so I guess it's no it is this way. So we're going to be using this method where you divide. Okay. So let's practice a little. We'll do four of these or three, just three. We'll cut it down from one. Number one, let's compare. This is going to be a mixed number. Two and three tenths. compared to the square root of seven. Okay. Remember, you're not gonna have this square root feature, so we're gonna have to guesstimate the square roots. So we're gonna practice that right now. You wanna have this handy. Okay, here we go. So let's change this to a decimal number because we can change square roots to decimals. So this is going to be um, two and three tenths. So that would be two point whatever three tenths is. All right. So let's divide. Three divide ten on your calculator. Yeah. So this is going to be two point three, since the answer was zero point three. 
we're going to compare 2.3 to whatever the square root of 7 is. Okay? So let's do that. Let's take our chart. Look for where 7 would be. It's between 4 and 9. Right? So that means our answer is between 2 and 3. Yeah, it would be something like that. It's a little bit closer. 7 is two spaces away from 9, right? So it's going to be closer there. So maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. We just want to have a close enough answer. So let's go 2.6. But now it's obvious. Which is bigger? Square root of 7 is bigger. And we're on our way. Let's try a few more. Okay, let's do um, number two. Uh, let's do square root of I made a mistake on that one. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah. 27. And 5 and 2 fifths. Okay. So let's start with the square root. Square root of 27. 27 is between what two numbers? Four, 25 and 36. 25 and 36. So it's five point something. What what would you say? Five point, five point one, five point two. It's very, 25, it's 25, which is five, and then it's 26, 27, very close to 25. So let's say 5.2. Okay. Now let's change five and two fifths to a decimal. It's going to be five point something. It's calculator time. Tell me what two fifths is. 5.4. So which one's bigger? 5.4. So five and two fifths is bigger. Okay. Let's do one with negatives. Remember how negatives work how they look like on the number line. Okay, so let's do negative, the square root of 7.6, compared to negative 2 and 3 fifths. Okay, so the negative there. All it's going to do is tell us our answer is negative. So now we have to estimate the square root of 7.6. But think about this. We already did the square root of 7. It's 2.6. And the square root of 7.6 is just a little bit more than that. So what would be a good estimate for the square root of 7.6? Think about it. It's just, just a little more. Mm, well, let's see. It's between four and nine, right? Seven is between, seven point six is between four and nine, so it's going to be two point something. Yeah, about two point six still. Or mm, let's go on a, out on a limb and say it's two point seven. Just a little more, right? Um, how about negative 2 and 3 fifths? That's negative 2 point something. 0. 0.6. 3 divided by 5 is 0. 0.6. So which one is bigger? Oh, be careful. Think of your 
negative number. Oh, you are right. You're right. So it, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of first period where they were saying negative 2.7. Negative 2.6 is bigger. Ever so slightly, but it is bigger. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to order numbers. Put them in order. Okay. So I'm going to give you some numbers and we're going to order them up. You ready? All right. Here we go. So here's the directions. We're going to graph the numbers on a number line. Graph the numbers on a number line and list them in ascending order. All right, my question to you is what does the word ascending mean if something's ascending rising. rising so for us when we have to list numbers in ascending order they're going to be from least to greatest we're going to start with the smallest number and gradually work up to our largest number. That's why the number line is a good tool for this. Because if you put the numbers on the number line, then you just copy them down and you have them in ascending order. Okay? Any questions? All right. So I'm going to give you some numbers, guys. Uh, let's start with... Um, well, we're going to have a few. Uh, number one... Here's our numbers. Pi followed by the square root of 10 followed by the square root of 8 followed by 2 and 3 fourths. We have two of these to do, by the way. Um, followed by our last one, which is 2.8 repeat okay so right now we got pi we got square roots we got decimals we got fractions let's just convert everything to a decimal okay so all of our numbers are easier to compare when they're in decimal form okay so let's start with pi everyone here should have know how to approximate pi the number pi. How much is it? Yeah, let's do, yeah, 3.1, maybe 3.14. Since we can, we can go as many digits as we want there. Uh, square root of 10. Let's look at our chart. It's between 9 and 16, so it's, yeah, so it's 3 point something. What would you say? What's a good estimate for 10? Square root of 10. About 3.1, because look, 9 is, square root of 9 is 3, and right after it, it's 10, so it's about 3.1. So I can already tell these two numbers are going to be very close together. Um, square root of 8. Let's look at our chart again. It's between 4 and 9, so it's 2 point something. 2.1. It's very close to 9, by the way. It's closer to the bigger number. So what would be a good guess? 2.9, 2 2.8, somewhere about there. So let's say 2.9, because it's very close. Okay. Well, 2 and 3 fourths is going to be 2 point something. Two, 
2.75. If you didn't already know that, you got your calculator 3 divided by 4. And then 2.8, well, it's a repeating number, but it's already decimal. Okay. So let's make a number line. And they will already have a number line for you. But it looks like all of our numbers are kind of bunched up, right? Um, so let's go from two, just a little past three. Okay, how's that? Mm, let's make a number line. Look, I'll have it in my hand. I was looking for my black pen. Okay. So let's say two is here. Three is there. And 3.5 is here. So this is 2.5, two, 3.5. So two, two and a half, three, three and a half. That should be enough room for everything. Let's, let's just put our numbers. Uh, I like to go in order with our smallest first. What's my smallest number here? 2.75. It should be right about here. Okay. So this is going to be two point uh, two and three fourths. Two and three fourths is there. Two and three fourths. So this one's done. Next we have two point eight repeating. Let's say that's here, more or less. Two point eight. Repeating is there. Then we have 2.9. That's very close to 3. 2.9. Oh, wait. I always do this. I should write square root of 8. Don't do what I do. Square root of 8. So that one's done. What comes next? 3.1, so that's the square root of 10. And then pi is very close. So I'm just going to put the dot right there and put it here, down here. Now, if you notice, these are my numbers that I have to put in order from least to greatest ascending. All I have to do is copy them down here in this order. So let's do that. Let's write these larger, of course, but in that order. So our smallest is 2 and 3 fourths, followed by 2.8 repeating. Followed by square root of 8. Followed by the square root of 10. Followed by pi, which was the largest. There are the numbers in ascending order. Boom. Okay. So they asked us to do two things. Graph the numbers on the number line. We did that. And then list them in ascending order. We did that. Okay. Expect both those things to happen on the test. All right. We have one more. Then we're done. So number two. This next one's going to have a few negatives. But that's okay. Just means we'll have some numbers on the negative side. Okay, I see some people still writing, so I'll give you a little bit of time while I drink my tea.
They say tea with honey is good for your voice. My voice is still horrible. It doesn't get better. All right, uh, let's do number two. We're gonna do the same thing with these numbers. Uh, one and three sevenths. The square root of six. Negative 2.2. Um, what's my next number? Negative four and five ninths. And negative the square root of 10. And look at that. We already figured out positive square root of 10. So that's going to be easy. Just negative 3.1. So um, let's do that. Let's start converting. So if the square root of 10 is about 3.1, this is going to be negative 3.1. Ladies in the back, focus, please. All right. So that one was just kind of like a freebie, so I just wrote it. Let's convert 1 and 3 sevenths to decimal. It's 1 point something. Let's figure it out. Everyone on your calculator, this is good practice. 3 divide 7. Yeah, we got a bunch of digits there, right? So what would we round this to? 1 point... Yeah, if you want to do 4-2, let's do 4-2. I agree. If you can add an extra digit. Okay, let's approximate square root of 6. Square root of 6. Let's take a look. 6 is between 4 and 9. Okay. So it's two places away here. It's from 6 to 9, it's three spaces, right? So it's kind of in between. So what would be a good guesstimate? 2.4, 2.5, 5. any one of those I think we're good. Let's go 0. 0.4. Although I think 2.5 would be good too. All right, negative 2.2, so that's already decimal. And then finally, negative 4.5. Yeah, we got five ninths. Is it 0.5? Okay. All right, you guys are quick at this now. I like it. Okay, so here's our numbers in order. So let's see, we're going from negative 4.5, way over here, all the way to, what's our largest, 2.4? So let's go from negative five all the way to three maybe. So number line. So here's five, negative five, um, negative four, negative three, negative two. I think I went too small. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. That's okay. That's about as far as we need to go. So I think we're good. Let's start finding our numbers. What's my least number? What's the smallest? Slightly smaller than that, though, is negative 4.5. So let's find that one, negative 4.5. So that's right here. That's negative 4 and 5 ninths. Negative 3.1. So that's going to be about here. And that's negative square root of 10. Negative 2.2, .2, so that's about here. Um, then we have 1.42. 
that's about here. And that's one and three sevenths. And then the square root of six is at 2.4. So right about here. And that's the square root of six. Okay. So we just graph them. So just copy these numbers over and they'll be in ascending order. So here we go. Negative four and five ninths. Negative square root of 10. Negative 2.2. .2. Uh, one and three sevenths. And finally, square root of six. So here they are, graphed and in ascending order. Now be careful. On today's assignment, they may say least to greatest, or they may flip it and say greatest to least. Because in period one, there were a few people who didn't read it. They, they thought they were all least to greatest, ascending. But sometimes they'll say least, uh, greatest to least. Okay. So this is what we're going to work on, and this is what will definitely be on the test. Um, so go ahead and go to your Chromebook, open up period two, and it's going to be uh, two IXLs.